Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So, a few things have happened since the last episode. I pulled off a couple of um, milk runs. Uh, a two skull and a two and a half skull. One was a um, basically a straight up battle. The second one was a defend base mission. Um, we ended up picking up one grasshopper part, which is kind of good. Um, but in the process, we did lose some stuff, unfortunately. Wasn't much I could do about it. Well, there was, I mean, but took a Gauss rifle shot to the back and then another hit in the back and we ended up with a problem with the hunchback. So we lost a few things. Um, <clears throat> it's back up and running again, but it's not quite what it was. Um, so I'm hoping it still hits pretty hard. So we lost three ER medium lasers and the talons that were on, or sort of the claws that were on this side. Um, <clears throat> so basically I, I just moved the, uh, we lost this whole side basically. So I put uh, some patchwork materials in, moved the ER medium laser from the arm into the torso, added a chainsaw, um, took a few heat sinks out and stuff. So um, it's kind of back roughly as good as it can get, I guess. It's not, I mean, it's not as good as it was, but I don't think it'll be hitting 220. But with the chainsaw, I mean, depending on how well this thing hits, it's like damage is nine and times five, so 45 damage if they all hit. But it's minus one accuracy. You know, being in the arm, it's neutral, so it's not gonna hit all that often, but it will do an extra little bit of damage, which will help us out. So there's that. And uh, secondly, what I want to do is uh, thank Fists of Dorn for pointing out something about the Black Knight. Um, you know, he's right. Uh, in his comments down below, he said there's no point going half-ass on this. I did have um, Clan uh, um, Endo Steel on, left over on the Griffin that I had stripped all the stuff off of. So I took that off. Um, the reason why I went on the Milk ones was to get um, C-Bills to fix this guy up properly. So that's what I think I've done here. Um, so let's have a quick look at it. He was right. There's no point in going half-assed. So um, I put the clan endo steel in to give us some extra space. We ended up with seven extra slots, which is awesome. The a light engine went in, uh, which is which ended up costing us about one and a half million um, in total once we did all the repairs or changes, which which we needed four slots for. Um, I moved all of the, and you know, he was really totally right about this, moving the pirate um, medium lasers into the torsos. Uh, we're not going to be firing with these all that much, really. So the bonus to hit, one extra bonus to hit on the arm, not a big deal. Um, because really these are the secondary weapons. So there's no point in them having them in the arms. They're well, in the torsos, they're much better protected. Um, then I dropped in a flail. So the flail is a plus one accuracy weapon, but it does 35 damage times three, 120% chance for crit hits on this thing uh, for only four tons. So that's kind of marvelous. Uh, and I put it in this arm because if anything, I want to shield this side. Uh, the sword is automatically replaceable, so I don't have to worry about that guy. But if we lose the claws, it's a big deal. So I put it on this side just so that we can block with this side. And I pulled out a heat sink cooling pod because um, we had half a ton left over. So I pulled one of these out, so we had a ton and a half, and I dropped in a tagger. Uh, I was kind of look. I was hoping we had a, uh, a clan tag, but we don't. So, um, and I don't have, well, I mean, I guess I could have added a little bit of armor to the back of here, but, uh, you know, it just, it's not a big deal. So I just put, added a tagger in the armor to do a little bit of damage, but um, this actual the tagger gives you a plus two improved accuracy over the plus one that you normally get. Um, so that's why I kind of went with this guy instead. So this thing I'll be firing, and it does this thing does fire in uh, melee as well, so we should be able to getting hits off this thing. Uh, yeah, so I'm hoping, and I, oh yeah, and I re reseeded everything. So he, Fist of Dorm pointed out that I had, when I was putting these in, I, I pulled the claws out, but I didn't pull out the spiked armor. So I pulled out everything that wasn't just bonus um, damage and reseeded everything. So we should be up to maximum damage now with this guy. So let's just find out um, once we get into combat. This is saying total damage is 133. I bet you we're hitting over 250. Uh, and then with the flail, if we hit with all three, which is another 105, it's going to be a horrific melee attack. So um, I'm just hoping our movement speed here um, 
Movement saying 5'8". We got plus 50% more for the clan mask for sprinting distance. While well, walking distance is 20, so it'll be, you know, 612. So we'll see how that goes. Um, when are we not sprinting, though, right? Plus 30% heat generate from weapons fire, but we're not going to be firing these all that much. So, you know what? No big deal. So let's uh, get back over here and let's pull off a mission um, and see what, how we can do here. I want to take, a, a you know, at least a four skull, see what we got in the contracts here. Now, we haven't moved planets. The reason why I stayed here was because it was a... Like I said, a two and a two and a half skull mission that we're up at the top here. So I took those first. Um, what do we got down here? Thorn in the side, assassinate mission. That's a good possibility. Defend base. Um, let's try and assassinate. Yeah, I think let's. I think we're going to try an assassinate mission here. So let's negotiate this and we're going to go full salvage. Usually these guys come with a tough mech to fight, so let's see how we do. And yeah, you can see the lance I was going with here. Uh, let's pull Satori out and Megasaur can come back in. And Black Knight. And let's see how we do. Alright, well, I hate this map. But we'll deal with it. There he is up there. And we've got... Looks like right. one lance. No, nope, two lances of defenders. Boston. One here and one here. Um, I think I want to try and clean up left to right. I mean, the other way is to try and get up here fast and into here. But we don't have the fastest group of mechs. Like we're, it's going to be three turns to get over here. Let's move forward and try and hug this wall. Try and avoid some direct fire. If I were an oh, Darius, don't you even start. Okay, so let's see what we got with Megasaur here. Actually, that's not bad for a 75-ton mech. I mean, it's not anywhere near as fast as the Griffin was, but still pretty damn fast for a 75-tonner. And more than enough to support... Uh, the flame hawk here. Moving at full throttle. Okay, let's get up into here. Full throttle. So the uh, the tooltip says destroy the smuggler leader and escape. <clears throat> and my tooltip that I uh, created for this mission is uh, destroy. <laughs> Destroy the smuggler leader and plant the uh, night witch's corp the uh, night <laughs> night witch's uh, uh, banner in his corpse. So that's what we're gonna do. So what do we got up here? A barbarian. That guy's gotta die fast. A drillson. Wow, with no armor. These guys have got no armor. Grand dragon. Grand dragon. Ray These guys got no armor. <gasps> They're gonna die hard. So what do we want? Do we want drag, Grand Dragon parts? Acknowledged. That's a really good question. Jager mech. Well, the thing is, is that we can't, um... We can't, um... That's a miss. Take any more than three. I'm so, if we just murder these guys straight up. Got it. Full speed, no target. We'll still get at least two pieces that we can take. Commander. Okay. Going full throttle. Can they even see us? Waiting for orders. Almost makes you want to just stand here and shoot at them. But I ain't that dumb. No shooting? Just well, yeah, I am kind of, but. I'm going to try to yank that barbarian down, maybe. Oh. 
Oh, I got. Oh, shoot. I got misplayed. We're at a position where we get the extra little percentage chance to hit. Let's just fire on the Jager mech. Ah, crap. Miss with the PPC. Yes, Commander. Uh, let's get you into position, girl. Somebody's going to get 324 melee damage on them. Plus a flail. Commander? I don't know if they can see us. You can't see a damn thing. Uh. I don't think we need to move in. Not with these guys. Wow. Come on, guys, hit somebody. You, you got to go after Red Comet. She's got to get in there. There's the Barbie. Waiting for orders. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 Let's go this route. Someone got acid on him. This guy probably. Oh, they got eyes on now. I got the center tray. Ah, it's the missile mech. Sorry, Jaeger mech, Order. missile mech, whatever. Whatever. Don't quite have the speed. So used to having the Griffin. Uh. Double time, let's go. Yeah, just gonna fire. Wow, nice shooting. Think I hit something good. They've got a sensor lock on me. Another vehicle, another mech. Cataphract, eh? Remember then, we got cataphract parts. Man, this guy does 300, <laughs> over 300 damage with a punch. Now all we have to do is elevate the rest of our crew to support this guy. You know, the other thing I can do is I can take out the uh, tagger on this guy and put a laser AMS in, which might be a better play. And then maybe take a half ton of armor off if I can and put in uh, just a regular tag. Ooh. Warning. Armor low. I got cocky thinking they couldn't see me. Yes, 
Commander. I think we can. Well, this guy's pretty much dead. Roger. Don't know how it would have been if he didn't. If he had full armor. Yeah, they ain't liking me today. Okay, stability back. Firing on this guy. Okay, two down. Barbarella the Yagamek, 26. Could fire more on this guy. ER large is a better chance to hit on this guy. So what if we multi-target? Uh, we should be able to punch this guy next turn. Let's just go this route. Wow, man. Take a me. Ooh. Nice one. Take a medium laser hit and it penetrates. You got a problem. Okay, Comet should be able to take the Raven down. We need more weapon mounts. It's one of the things we do need. Drill son. So this guy can pretty much destroy any vehicle as long as we connect. It's like over 600 damage. Like I, I don't even know of a vehicle that's got 600 points of armor in any one location. Gonna turn these off. We don't need them. Fire in. Enemy eliminated. Ow. Oh. That guy's almost overheated. Um. Okay, question. That said 20% damage reduction, but my shield reduces the damage by 25%. I'm, must be missing something. If you guys know what it is, please let me know, because I don't know what the hell I'm missing. Yeah, we need to start moving up here, so... Um, Want to go this way? Or back this way? Let's go back this way. Let's shoot on the Jaeger mech. The barbarian's going down very shortly. Shoot the Jagger Mac in the face. Oh, God, terrible chance to hit. Taking him anyway. I was going to say where my horn's at, but it's really more like where the fog horn's at because. <laughs> Here it comes. Engaging. 
You can have as much damage reduction as you want. Still ain't gonna save you. Still ain't gonna save you. Yeah, just one asset, I think. Uh, let's Warlord this too. Better chances to hit. Maybe we can put him over the heat. Wow. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative the hell were you shooting at, girl? How'd you miss with all those flamers? It's a pretty baby up there. No idea what a pretty baby is. Maybe I've encountered one before. How much does it weigh? We have no idea. They've got a lock on me. I still like the Care Bear though. What a great name. See, it says only 20% damage reduction. That shield's not doing anything. Unless it's only versus melee. Which is highly probable. He's an ace pilot, moving to within stepping range. Oh, no, we got a better target than that. CTF 1E. That's the Ultra 10 version, I guess. Don't matter, it's the Ultra Dead version, is what it is. Well, he's risking overheat. Ready for orders. Can we get behind him? Nope, I'll have to punch him from the front. That's fine. Punch him right in the face. So, it was the flail that killed him. See if we can kill some vehicles here. Yeah, not a bad chance to hit. We'll fire. Nice. Vehicle down. Let's clean this up and go home, guys. Against the vehicle. Wow, everything hit. Nice. Hmm. Move order received. Engaging target. Oh, you shut down. Sucks to be you. Alright, let's get up here. How far can we get? Not very far. Far enough, though. Yeah, let's just get rid of this guy. Sure has. About to take a few more. About to take a few more. He's going down! He's going down! Oh, God, this guy's still alive. Let's get rid of him. Burn him up! He's still going? How's he still going? Understood. Moving fast. Tag, you're it. Hostile eliminated. 
Come on, pretty baby. He's fleeing the interview. It's gonna take us a while to get up here. Yes, Commander. Holding here. It's nice having that spiky armor for the extra twenty percent. All right, we're almost there. Maybe he'll come out to play. We won't have to chase him. Full throttle. Waiting for orders. Moving out. Commander? Aye. I'm trying to get to the point where, um, Red Comet can run out and shut him down. I think we're there. Ready for order. Full throttle. Standing by. Roger. Venting heat and stabilizing. Come on, buddy. I'm receiving you. All right, let's go find out what he is. Oh, it's the awesome. That's right. I remember now. Faced this guy before. Not with not with the uh, ladies here, but we faced him with uh, Funky Steve's Medina's. That's right. So let's try and shut him down. Not so pretty anymore, are you? Receiving you. Just gotta make sure we got direct red lines here. Oop, don't need that. See if we can leg this guy. I should really see if we can take his head off. Waiting for orders. Ah, uh, see now this is where the problem comes in. Megasaur is pretty much useless at this point. I mean, not really, but... Uh, you know, why do I talk? Four hits in the leg. How much is left there? Not that much. So let's target this leg. And firing. Or we could just shoot him in the groin. Well, at least he's going down. I'm here. All the guy can do is stand up this turn anyway, so... Uh, let's just do this, and this. Fire. Okay, there's one leg. I hope. That was a leg, right? Yeah. Come on, let's get this other leg firing. Oh, this guy's not so pretty anymore. That's like got a nothing there. Let's just go with one. Are you kidding me? God, girl, you suck with yes, that. Okay, is this the is this the tagger moment? Is this a tagger kill? Very highly likely. Sure is. <laughs> Oh, now we got to run out of here. All right, guys, I'll see you at the exit. All right, guys, we're out of here. Nice. Okay, contract payment increased by 35%, which is nice. 
Gonna need that for some repairs. Not a lot, but Bushwhacker did take a fair bit of damage. Black Knight got five kills. That's crazy. It's like everything you punch, it dies. So now my question is, do we want three Grand Dragon parts? Because we've already got three, plus there's a chance for a lot more. Or do we want to take the pretty baby parts? We got a better, I mean, we got a better chance to get the Grand Dragon, and we have a better chance to encounter more of these guys. So I'm thinking we're going to do that. I don't think, well, Fire Fist, Heat 15, 15 additional heat damage with melee. Hmm. Six laser damage. Evasion pips and no accuracy. That would be a nice replacement for the large that's on the uh, bushwhacker. Oh, the bonus PPCs. Do I just say no to these for now? <sighs> Could build it. Oh, there's so much good stuff here. For Inner Sphere, that is. Spiked Leg Boots would be nice. Well, let's just go with the mech parts. See what we get. One, two, three, four Grand Dragon parts. Okay, so we got an extra one, which is good. Jager mech part. MRM 30. No MRM ammo, though. Ah, double heat sink. Ah, oh, God. Oh, well. Okay, 54,000. Not bad for repairs. Not bad at all. Uh, so we made it okay on that one. Let's manage our tasks a little better here. Eight days, eh? What's the financial report in? Eight. Ah, eh, well, we got to pass the financial report. Um... Let's maybe go to a different system here real quick and see if there's something else we can do quickly. So I don't think there's anything really close though. Three skull, 14 days, Martian environment. Oh, it's a desert environment. Well, that's not bad. Can get up to five skull missions here. Um, yeah, let's head over there. So we got lots of sea bills. Well, at least for a month, anyway. That work order you got a new financial report for you. So we can maybe look at refitting the Griffin again. We do need MRM ammo badly. It's a good thing I haven't been uh, really going against Outworld Alliance. I've been kind of taking some missions for them, taking some missions for Karita, just so that we can stay in good books with them. Hopefully we can pick up some stuff while we're here. Let's have a look and see if we can get some ammo. Well, I guess not. <laughs> yep, not a lot here. What do we got contract-wise, though? Oh, yeah, it looks like there's some good high-level stuff here. Let's have a look at our mech warriors first, though, just to see how we're doing here. So, Baba Yaga, oh, yeah, we do have enough. Gunnery 9, we want, we want to go that route, so let's confirm this. And Megasaur, what have you got here? Not enough yet for anything. Comet, yeah, once again, we'll got, we want to go gunnery. And Sunflower, if we got gunnery on her, yep, nice. Mech warrior training complete. Now, let's see our second lance here. Satori, don't quite have enough for gunnery, which we're going to go for, though. Um, Ready for order. Sheet metal, going to go for gunnery. Ah, jeez, we've been waiting for this. But I think gunnery is probably better. Plus 10% range increase. And speed of sound oh, sonic. Wow. Um, 
Yeah, because you're running the hot raptor. Let's just go this route for now. Training complete. And where are you here? Uh, Chupacabra. Yeah. And you don't have anything. Good to go. Yeah, Diva's slowly going up here. That's good to hear. We've got one more, don't we? No, we don't. Yeah, we need to get our... Uh, you know, let's have a look at the engineering section right now. Force us to work a little harder here. Um, third, we want to get this, this second habitat pod up and running. Nine hundred thousand. Should we just go for it? We got a whole month ahead of us. We probably should. Plus one morale. Well, we're not. Re See, the thing is, we're not really ready to start on that though. Getting our third lance up and running. We, re we really need this more than anything. The third mech bay. Um, structure. Really not much left to take. I went ahead for this. So let's just, let's work on getting some sea bills for that. And trying to find some MRM ammo. Something quick that we can take before the end of the day here. Hostile acquisitions ambushing a convoy. Capturing a base. That one we can take next time. Coupe protecting the mechs. This is a possibility too. This is against who? local government. Let's take this one. Let's go right now. Do it real fast. Uh, now we want sea bills. But the opportunity to get some half decent mech parts off these guys is just too too juicy. It's the beginning of the month still too so let's just do it this way. Go with our main lance again just to see what we can do. Command interface initiated. Ah, good. Ready to rock, Chief. Let's head over this way. Roger. Order. Let's try and get within striking distance here. Okay. Full throttle. Stand in by. Hostile and sensors. Apparently not. Oh, there we go. What do we got here? A white grasshopper. Okay. This is the perfect time to do the warlord to see if we can take this guy out. Champion. Nice. We got grasshopper parts, we got champion parts. Let's get in here. Makes it harder for us to hit, but also for them to hit us. Still going, huh? Somebody else back here too. I guess it's the white that's going now. Yep. Waiting for orders. Yeah, it's kind of a waste of shooting them. I copy. What's up, buddy? Engaging. 
I barely even touched him. One less target. Okay, Grasshopper goes. Usually there's two guys over here. Oh, 33% of the enemy is gone. Wonder if he's going to move in. I'd move back here. Oh god. Waiting for orders. He's so dumb. Sure. Fire it. Wow. Sucky chances to hit there. Order. Um Hmm. That guy's really weird looking. You'd almost expect a champion to look like a knight or something like that, but... Whoops. Not be getting that close. Yes, Commander. Can you shut this guy up, I think? Probably. Let's yeah. just shut him up. You! Shut your mouth. Uh. Well, does it again. Hope we can salvage that. I don't. Well, yeah, I kind of do. He's goofy looking, but we'll take it. See what this guy's gonna do now. Ooh, he's got six light PPCs. Good thing I'm standing in the mineral field. Where are you jumping to, buddy? Ah, uh, really? Okay, please shut this guy down. Ooh. Game over. Oh, sure, you can hit this guy's leg. He's going down. Ready for order. Coming back to save the day. Nicely done. Target neutralized. There it is, folks. Mission successful. Okay, 160,000. Yeah, a little bit of damage in the back there. It's totally my fault. Okay, grasshopper parts, I'm thinking. Well, we got three or four. Let's go that route, maybe. Not a lot else. E-cooling plus two. Exchanger. Ooh, that's a good exchanger. It's three tons, though. PPC capacitor. Yeah, we lost our last one. Nope, I think we go with the mech parts. Ooh, we got three grasshopper parts. 
XL engine, which we can sell. Nice. And we got the exchanger. Cool. All right. I was hoping for a mech, but we didn't get one. No big deal. Uh, so I was just thinking on the way um, back to our ship here that maybe... Um, possibility for one of the catapult layouts to get it up running sooner rather than later. We've got four ballistic, four energy, or sorry, two ballistic, four energy, and four missile. And this one's four and four. I was thinking that maybe the C2, well, one of these two guys, rather than making an LRM build or an MRM build, we just do an SRM build. We, we take the Raptor out of service, take the triple plus SRMs, um, and I think we've got one more SRM six triple plus, and make a close range build on one of these two guys. Maybe we do it on th well, not this one. I don't think this one. I want to save for the MRMs because it's already got the XL engine built in and everything. But this guy, we could build an SRM build. It'll be lighter, and we can get it up and running faster, and we can replace the um, the Raptor with it. That's a good possibility. I'm going to think about that between episodes. I might do something like that tomorrow. We'll see how it gets laid out. But um, yeah, so I'm going to leave the episode here, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the uh, the uh, revision to the, um, the Black Knight. I think it's much better now. That was a Fist of Dorn um, pointed that out to me, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, I think it was a really good change. Um, so yeah, that was kind of good. Also too, our Bushwhackers right now, um, kind of both running energy builds. I'd love to have a double PPC build on one of these guys, but um, we just don't have the right PPCs yet for it. Um, so I don't know, if you can think of another loadout for the Bushwhackers, let me know. Um, I don't want to go AC20 route. Um, maybe Ultra 10 or something, I don't know. See how it goes. And you know the other thing too is one of the other the catapult. It does have ballistic points, so I mean you, we could run an ultra build on it, with an ultra auto cannon or something, or just regular AC tens or something. I don't know. I'll have to figure something out for it. We don't have a lot of components, but we do have enough to just get something up and running. I think. Um, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll leave the episode there. If you'd like to drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and also drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you all later.